Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on the anesthetic machine. Modern anesthetic machines. Introduction. Gas supply is received from gas cylinders and pipe medical supply. The anesthetic machine receives medical gases under pressure and accurately controls the flow of each gas individually. Mechanisms and apparatus are present to measure gas flow rate and vaporize volatile anesthetic agents. Breathing systems and ventilator are present to deliver gases and vapors from the machine to the patient. Scavenging apparatus scavenges anesthetic gases to minimize environmental pollution. Various safety mechanisms are present to prevent hypoxia, barrel trauma, and inappropriate delivery of anesthetic gas mixtures. The gas mixture of a desired composition and flow rate is created. A defined concentration of an inhalational anesthetic agent vapor is then added to the gas mixture. This gas and vapor mixture is delivered continuously to the common gas outlet of the machine as fresh gas flow to the breathing system or ventilator and ultimately to the patient. Accurate mixtures of anesthetic gases and inhalational agents are delivered at controlled and variable flow rates under low gas pressure. Various features from the gas cylinder or pipeline to the fresh gas outlet will be described. Mechanisms for protection from barrel trauma, pressure reducing valves at pipeline and gas cylinders, pressure gorges which indicates gas pressures in pipelines and gas cylinders, Pressure gauges are color-coded, flow restrictors, flow control valves, pressure relief valves located downstream of the vaporizer back bar. These open at 34 kPa to prevent damage to the flow meters or vaporizers should the common gas outlet be obstructed. Mechanisms for protection from hypoxia. Gas pipelines are color-coded and has NIST connections. Gas cylinders are color-coded Pin indexing is present and reserve oxygen cylinders are present. Oxygen failure devices such as oxygen failure alarms, ventilator disconnection alarm, emergency oxygen flush and mechanisms to discontinue nitrous oxide when the oxygen pressure is low. Flow meter. Oxygen is the last gas to be added to the gas mixture being delivered to the back bar. Prominent oxygen flow meter knob. Interlock system between nitrous oxide and oxygen, also known as the hypoxic guard, is a mechanical linkage between nitrous oxide and oxygen flow meters to prevent the delivery of FiO2 of less than 25-30%. to Non-return valves prevents the empty cylinder from being refilled by the reserve cylinder. It enables the empty cylinder to be removed and replaced without interrupting gas supply to the patient. Oxygen concentration monitor and analyzer. Mechanisms for protection against delivery of inappropriate anesthetic agents. Interlocking cellar attack system. Locking rods prevent more than one vaporizer being used at the same time. It avoids contamination of vaporizers if two vaporizers are turned on at the same time. Non-return valve located downstream of the vaporizers to prevent back pressure and to avoid output of high concentrations of anesthetic vapor. Multi-gas analyzer. MRI-compatible anesthetic machines contain non-ferrous metals and can be used up to the 1000 Gauss line. An example is Prima SP anesthetic machine by Penlon. Gas pipelines. Color coding is present for each gas for easy recognizability and to avoid misconnections. However, there is no international consistency with the color coding. Schrader coupling system ensures that the pipeline connections are non-interchangeable. Reducing valves aka primary pressure regulators reduce gas pressures to 4 bar. Pipeline hose connection is permanently attached to the rear of the anesthetic machine. NIST or non-interchangeable screw thread are gas specific threads to prevent misconnections. One-way valves ensure unidirectional gas flow. Refer to the central gas supply video for further details. Gas cylinders Refer to gas cylinder video for further details. Color coding is present for easy recognizability and to avoid misconnections. 
There is no international consistency with the color coding. Durability. Gas cylinders are very durable. They are made of molybdenum steel alloy and other robust materials. Rigorous regular hydraulic tests ensure sustained durability of gas cylinders. Pin index system prevents connection of the wrong gas cylinder to the wrong yoke. Side guards located on each cylinder yoke ensures that gas cylinders are positioned vertically. Bodox seals are bonded disc seals. These ensure gas tight fit between the gas cylinder and the anesthetic machine. Pressure gauge indicates the cylinder pressure. One-way valve, also known as backflow check valves, are located next to the inlet yoke. This prevents loss or leakage of gas from an empty yoke and accidental transfilling between paired cylinders. Pressure regulators Primary pressure regulator, aka reducing valves. Purpose To reduce high cylinder pressure from 137 bar to 4 bar, such as in an oxygen cylinder. 4 bar is a lower pressure for safer operation. It maintains constant gas flow. As gas cylinder empties its contents, its temperature and pressure decreases with use. Constant adjustment from the pressure regulator enables gas flow to be constant under these circumstances. To protect anesthetic machine components against damaging pressure surges. To protect the patient from high gas cylinder pressures that can cause barotrauma. To allow the use of low pressure piping and connectors distally and to reduce the risk of gas leaks. Position Pressure regulator is positioned between the gas cylinder and the rest of the anesthetic machine. Components of the primary pressure regulator Inlet A filter High pressure chamber Valve Low pressure chamber which has a diaphragm attached to a spring and outlet Mechanism Gas enters the high pressure chamber Gas passes into the low pressure chamber when the valve opens, force that closes the valve is from the high pressure gas and force that opens the valve is from the diaphragm and the spring. A balance is reached between these forces to achieve a constant gas flow under a constant pressure of 4 bar. Problems in practice and safety features The components of the pressure regulator can malfunction if ice forms within it should the gas cylinder contains water vapour the water vapor condenses and frees as a result of the heat loss when gas expands on entry into the low pressure chamber. The diaphragm can rupture. If the pressure regulator fails, a pressure relief valve, typically set at 700 kPa or 7 bar, is located downstream to allow the escape of gas and pressure build up. One way valve position within the cylinder supply line or within the pressure regulator prevents backflow and gas loss from the gas pipeline supply should a cylinder be disconnected. Flow restrictor It is located upstream of the flow meter block between the pipeline supply and the rest of the anesthetic machine or downstream of the vaporizer back bar. Purpose To protect the low pressure components of the system from damaging high gas pressure from pipe gas supply and to minimize back pressure associated with intermittent positive pressure ventilation. Mechanism of flow restrictor A constriction lies between the high and low pressure chambers. This constriction causes a significant pressure drop when there is high gas flow rate. A lower pressure of 100 to 200 kPa or 1 to 2 bar is achieved. What would happen if there are only flow restrictors and no pressure regulators in the pipeline supply? Adjustment of the flow meter controls will be necessary whenever there is a change in pipeline pressure. Adjustable pressure limiting valve or APL valve Purpose To minimize the risk of barotrauma to the patient by venting gas when a preset pressure is exceeded. To adjust the pressure in the breathing system for spontaneous or controlled ventilation and it forms a part of the scavenging system. Components It is part of the breathing system, a lightweight disc that rests on a knife edge seating is present. There is a low area of contact and this reduces the risk of adhesion from surface tension of condensed water. A stem which acts as a guide for the disc to be positioned correctly and spring which is incorporated in the valve. The pressure required to open the valve is adjusted by changing the spring tension. 
Mechanism of action. When the valve top is screwed upwards, such as during spontaneous breathing, the tension of the spring is low, the pressure required to open the valve is low, the valve opens when the patient generates a positive pressure within the system during expiration, and gas escapes with minimal resistance. When the valve top is screwed downwards, such as during controlled ventilation, the tension of the spring is high, the pressure required to open the valve is high, resistance to expiration is higher, gas will leave the system at a higher pressure than during spontaneous ventilation, the valve is adjusted to produce a controlled leak during the inspiratory phase of controlled ventilation. When fully closed, the APL valve will open at a pressure of 60 cmH2O. Most APL valves are encased in the hood for scavenging. Flow control valves reduces gas pressure from 4 bar to just above 1 bar as gas enters the flow meter block. Flow meters refer to respective mind map and video. Pressure gorges Burden pressure gorge Purpose To measure gas pressure in gas cylinders or pipelines. Location It is mounted on the front panel of the anesthetic machine for oxygen nitrous oxide and medical air. Components A coiled tube which is robust, flexible. One end is sealed, another end is connected to the gas supply. It has an oval cross-section. It is able to withstand sudden increase in pressure when the gas cylinder is open. Needle pointer connected to the coiled tube via gears. Dial. The needle pointer moves over a calibrated dial to indicate the gas pressure. Mechanism. Uncoiling of the tube by the gas pressure occurs Tube movement is transmitted to the gears which moves the needle pointer over the calibrated dial to indicate the gas pressure. Safety issues. It is gas specific with color coding and gas specific calibration. For oxygen or air cylinder, pressure measured indicates the contents available in the gas cylinder. For nitrous oxide cylinder, the pressure measured does not indicate the contents available in the nitrous oxide cylinder. Refer to nitrous oxide and gas cylinder video for further details. Pressure gorges designed for pipelines should not be used to measure gas cylinder pressures and vice versa to avoid inaccuracies and to avoid damage to the pressure gorges. Rupture of the coil tube may occur. Gas will vent from the back of the pressure gorge casing. The face of the pressure gorge will not break easily should this occur as it is made of durable glass. Digital pressure gauge. Modern anesthetic machine designs use a digital display of the gas supply pressures. Emergency oxygen flush. Mechanism. It is activated by a non-locking button. When activated, the self-closing needle valve opens and pure oxygen gas flow. With a flow of 35 to 75 liters per minute or 40 liters per minute at 4 bar, it bypasses the flow meter and bypasses the vaporizer and the oxygen flow is supplied to the gas outlet of the anesthetic machine. Safety issues Self-closing needle valve minimizes unintended or accidental activation. The recessed button prevents accidental depression of the button. Barrel trauma may occur from high operating pressure of 4 bar. Accidental awareness under general anesthesia can occur as a consequence of dilution of inhalational anesthetic agents. Minute volume divider ventilator. Emergency oxygen flush should not be activated while ventilating a patient using minute volume divider ventilator. Oxygen failure and interlock devices. Characteristics of oxygen failure devices. It is activated by pressure of oxygen alone. It does not require batteries or mains power. Alarm signal has a special character with sufficient duration and volume. It warns impending failure and there is a warning when oxygen failure occurs. Pressure link controls and valves should be present to interrupt the flow of all other gases when it comes into operation and allow atmospheric air entrainment to the patient to reduce hypoxia and hypercarbia and prevent resumption of anesthesia until oxygen supply has been restored. These oxygen failure devices should be positioned on the reduced pressure side of the oxygen supply line, should be tamper-proof and not affected by back pressure from the anesthetic ventilator. Anti-hypoxic safety features Prevents delivery of gas mixtures with FiO2 of less than 0.25. For mechanical systems, interlocking chain system 
between oxygen and nitrous oxide flow control valves, for every 2.07 revolutions of the nitrous oxide flow control knob, the oxygen knob and spindle set to the lowest oxygen flow will rotate once. The anesthetic machine cannot deliver a nitrous oxide concentration greater than 75%. Pneumatic systems. The pressure sensitive diaphragm measures changes in oxygen gas pressure. If oxygen pressure is lower than 200 kPa, nitrous oxide flow is cut off by the valve. An oxygen failure alarm should be powered by the oxygen supply pressure in the machine pipeline. It is activated by oxygen pressure reduction to below 200 kPa. If the oxygen pipeline pressure falls to less than 137 kPa, a fail-safe valve will interrupt the flow of other gases to their flow meters. This results in only oxygen being delivered rather than other gases. An air entrainment valve also opens so that the patient cannot be exposed to a hypoxic mixture resulting from failure of oxygen delivery. If oxygen pipeline pressure falls to below 100 kPa, the oxygen flow set on the oxygen flow meter will decrease. Paramagnetic oxygen analyzer continuously measures oxygen concentrations. Nitrous oxide flow is switched off when oxygen concentrations fall below 25%. Ventilators Back in bottle ventilator is often incorporated in modern anesthetic machines for ventilation in the operating theater. Components A driving unit and a control unit. The driving unit consists of a chamber and ascending bellow. The adult version of the chamber can hold up to 1.5 liters and pediatric version can hold up to 400 mils. Ascending bellow accommodates fresh gas flow. The control unit has controls, displays and alarms for tidal volume, respiratory rate which range from 6 to 40 per minute, IE ratio, airway pressure, power supply, ventilatory mode etc. Mechanism of action. It is pneumatically powered electronically controlled, and time-cycled. Software can be upgraded to facilitate some advanced ventilation modes. Solenoid, or known as electromagnetically controlled valves, are operated by a central processing unit which regulates the flow of driving gas into the bottle. During expiration, the CPU opens an electronically controlled valve to depressurize the bottle and the bellows can then fill with the anesthetic gas mixture as long as there is enough volume within the circle system. Anesthetic gas mixture flows into collapsible bellows. The bellow expands within a gas-tight chamber known as the bottle. During inspiration, the driving gas is compressed gas. Driving gas enters the chamber and forces the bellow downwards. Downward movement of the bellows results in fresh gas being expelled into the patient's lungs. The tidal volume equals the volume of driving gas reaching the chamber. This mechanism provides a visual indication of ventilation. Driving gas and fresh gas are separated throughout. Some designs use a descending bellow instead of an ascending bellow. Safety issues. A peep of 2 to 4 cm H2O is generated by positive pressure in the standing bellows. In case of disconnection or gas leak, ascending bellows collapses to an empty position and remains stationary. Descending bellows hang down to a fully expanded position and may continue to move almost normally. Hence, an ascending bellow will indicate disconnection or gas leaks better than a descending bellow system. Pressure relief valves is present in both back and bottle gas system. Pressure monitoring is present and occurs continuously at the afferent limb of the breathing circuit. Pros, it is simple to use, provides a visual indication that the ventilator is working and disconnection or gas leak has occurred. Software is upgradable for more advanced ventilatory modes. Cons, it is bulky and driving gas is wasted. Hence, it is not suitable to be used if pressurized gas supplies are in limited supply. A video on ventilators will be made in the near future for other types of ventilators. Breathing systems, a video will be made in the near future for breathing systems. Vaporizer and scavenging will be discussed later. Compressed oxygen outlet. There may be one or many and provides oxygen gas outflow at 4 bar. Its purpose is to drive ventilators and drive manual controlled jet injectors. Common gas outlet. This is where the anesthetic machine ends. Structure. It is a conically tapered pipe 
with a 22mm male and 15mm female. It is either fixed or on a swiveling connector. It is durable enough to withstand a torque of up to 10Nm as heavy equipment may be attached to it. Gas mixture from the common gas outlet consists of gas mixture set by the flow meter plus inhalational anesthetic agents from the vaporizers. This gas mixture enters the fresh gas tubing and flows into the breathing system. Other anesthetic machine designs MRI non-compatible anesthetic machines has ferromagnetic materials and should not be used close to an MRI scanner. Distorted readings and physical damage to the scanner are possible. Anesthetic machines made totally of non-ferrous material may be used near MRI machines. Draeger Zeus IE Anesthetic Workstation Components described above are replaced with electronically controlled ones all incorporated in an integrated system in newer sophisticated anesthetic machines such as the Draeger Zeus IE Anesthetic Workstation. Thermistors are used to measure gas flow and replaces flow meters. It is based on the physical principle that gas flow causes changes in temperature. Changes in temperature measured by the thermistor and calibrated to measure flows of gases. Electronic flow sensors replaces flow meters as well. It is based on the principle of the pneumo tachograph. Gas flows through a laminar flow resistor. Pressure difference is measured across the laminar flow resistor using a differential pressure transducer. Flow is measured and displayed on a screen in the form of a virtual graduated flow meter together with a digital display. Automated settings of FiO2 and end tidal anesthetic agent concentration. This system works to achieve FiO2 and end tidal anesthetic agent concentration targets set by the anesthetist in the quickest and safest way. Traditional vaporizers are replaced with direct injectors which offer several advantages. Direct injection of the inhalational agent into the breathing system allows for rapid changes in the inhalational agent concentration independent of the fresh gas flow. This anesthetic workstation has a number of infusion pumps to allow for intravenous infusion. Universal Anesthesia Machine It is designed for provision of anesthesia in poorly resourced countries where compressed gas and electricity supply is not always available. Unlike standard anesthetic machines, the UAM uses an electrically powered oxygen concentrator producing maximum of 10 liters per minute of 95% oxygen. It uses draw-over vaporizers, bellows, and balloon valve. Should electricity supply to the oxygen concentrator fails, UAM can entrain air as necessary with the vaporizer functioning as normal. UAM can operate in either continuous flow or draw-over modes. Oxygen can be provided by gas cylinder or pipeline as well. There are two flow meters for oxygen and nitrous oxide or air. Reservoir bag can hold up to 2 liters. It is located distal to the flow meter on the back bar. Negative pressure valve entrains air when the fresh gas flow is less than the patient's minute ventilation. Positive pressure relief valve prevents excessive pressurization of the reservoir bag. Low resistance vaporizer located downstream of the positive pressure valve can be used for isoflurane or halotane. Silicone bellows can hold up to 1.6 liters. It enables manual ventilation through a standard dual limb breathing system. Expiratory valve located at the side of the machine. It is durable and long lasting. Silicone balloon housed in a clear plastic tube is present. Oxygen concentration monitor by a fuel cell is present. There is a monitor with a touchscreen display and anti hypoxic features. Tri service apparatus. Purpose. It is designed to be used in the field in remote areas where supply of compressed gases and vapors are difficult. It is compact, portable, robust, and tri-service refers to Army, Navy, and Air Force. Components. It consists of a face mask and non-rebreathing valve, self-inflating bag, two Oxford miniature vaporizers known as OMV, oxygen cylinder connected upstream of the vaporizer, and tubing which connects the above components, a third length of tubing proximal to the vaporizer, 
acts as an oxygen reservoir during expiration. Mechanism of action. It can be used for either spontaneous ventilation or controlled ventilation. Patient draws air through the vaporizer. Exhaled gases are vented out through the non-rebreathing valve. Self-inflating bag is present for controlled or assisted ventilation. The OMV is a draw-over vaporizer with a capacity of 50 ml of anesthetic agent. The wick is made of metal. There are no temperature compensation mechanism. Ethylene glycol jacket serves as a heat sink which stabilizes the vaporizer temperature. A calibration scale is present and can be detached and selected to match different anesthetic agents. A different inhalational agent can be used after blowing air for 10 minutes and rinsing the wicks with the new agent. The OMV has extendable feet fitted to the casing. A downstream vaporizer may be filled with trichloroethylene, which provides analgesia. Problems in practice and safety features. The ethylene glycol jacket acts as the vaporizer's heat sink. However, it is not suitable for prolonged use at high gas flow. With prolonged use, there is a decrease of temperature of the liquid volatile anesthetic agent and there is a decrease in vapor concentration. Accidental tipping of the vaporizer during use can result in very high concentrations of anesthetic vapor being delivered to the patient as the liquid agent spills into the breathing system. However, when the vaporizer is turned off, it is spill-proof. These are my references. Thank you.